moment. Take a deep breath in and out. In and out. And see yourself sitting here. See yourself as a tree. And we're going to reach down through the floor with our roots. Go down through our basements, deep below our houses, through the soil and gravel that's all underneath. Go down into the earth, into nice, warm, or cool earth beneath our houses. Go down past the boulders until we find that bedrock deep beneath us. And as we search along the bedrock, we'll find that pool of water. Waters deep beneath us, buried in the earth. Suck those waters up through your roots. Bring them up into your feet and into your legs. Bring that water up into your belly and into your chest. Pull that water up throughout your whole body, up through the head, out through your hands, and back into the earth. Once again. Feel this water, the powers of chaos running throughout your body. Now we're going to reach up and search for that star above our heads, up through the roofs, through the trees, and through the clouds, up until you find that star just above. And you're going to pull that starlight down into your branches, down into your arms and into your head. Bring that light down into your chest and your belly, down through your feet. And see that light mingle with the waters from below. The light of order from above, the waters of chaos from below mingling within our bodies, filling us with the energies from above and below. Take in this energy. Revel in it. But now, push back to the ground the waters you don't need. Push back up to the sky the light you don't need. Keep within you whatever energy you need to maintain yourself. But know that you can always go back down and back up again and pull these powers back in as needed. But for now, take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, rejoin us at our fire. First, we make offerings to the Earth Mother. Earth Mother, you who surround and support us, you who aid us in our daily lives, you have, who have given us this gorgeous weather we've had the past few days, you who's going to be giving me this wonderful bounty tomorrow from my farm share. <laughs> Earth Mother, for all that you do for us, accept this offering. Earth Mother, accept this offering. So we are here to honor the gods, and we are here to receive blessings from the gods. But first, let's recreate the cosmos to our three hallows. Mighty well, waters that go deep into the earth, you connect us with the underworld, with the ancestors. We give you this over and say, Sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. Mighty fire, you who burn and transform, you who sends our prayers and sacrifices up to the shining ones, up to the upper worlds. We give to you this incense and say, sacred fire, burn within us. Sacred fire, burn within us. A mighty tree, your roots go deep into the ground, connecting us to the ancestors. And your branches go high into the sky, connecting us to the shining ones. You are the path between all our worlds. 
accept this incense in this water. We say sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. And we say mighty orange cat, leave us alone. <laughs> <laughs> You moved your camera a little bit, just so you know. Oh, joy. Just Thank slightly. You. Outsiders. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're not outsiders. They're no, nice. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we call on the gatekeepers all. All of you who have worked with us to aid us bringing messages far and wide, protecting us as we walk the holy ways, and guiding us as we do our works. Gatekeeper of us all, we call to you, aid us, guide us, and send our messages far and wide as you have so many times before. Gatekeepers, accept our offering. Gatekeeper, accept our offering. Now, join your magic with mine, and not just in my house, but in all of our houses. This well become a gate to the underworld. This fire become a gate to the upper worlds. And let this tree be a crossroads between all the worlds open to our voices, and open to our spirits. Let the gates be opened. Let the gates be open. Shiny ones. Gods and goddesses of older days, you who look over each and every one of us, you who look over all of our friends, you who look over our land and where we live. Be you known to us or unknown to us? Shining ones, we welcome you at our fire. Shining ones, accept our offering. Shining ones, accept our offering. Land spirits, you have fur and feather, scale and skin, seen or unseen, the whites, the fays, and all of those spirits that run around. You enrich our lives. We ask that you come and join us by our fire. Land spirits, accept our offering. Land spirits, accept our offering. And ancestors, you have come before us you of our own blood and family, be you of those that we have adopted as our own family, our friends, and those of you that are of this place, ancestors, we welcome you to our fire. Ancestors, accept our offering. Ancestors, accept our offering. At this time, if anyone has offerings they wish to make, please do so. Okay. I'm going to step away for a minute. this offer to the gods and goddesses, the land spirits, the ancestors, and ask that they not only watch over us for the following week, but watch over all the world leaders as they go through this interesting week they're about to have. Mm. I want to 
once more. Mighty kindred, we have given to you, we give to you once more. I ask that you watch over us this week, aid us and guide us in all that we do. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Accept our sacrifice. And now we ask, what blessings do we receive? From the shining ones, we get Elhas, the elk, mm. the elk sesh, protection. From the end, from the land spirits. From the land spirits, we get Visa, ice. Hmm. Which could be stagnation, it could be stability. Mm. From the ancestors. From the ancestors can get Alos, the horse, spiritual travel. What I'm getting out of this is Isa is stability, it's not stagnation. We do what we need to do, maintain our spiritual work, and the gods have our back. I think that's, that's almost good. Yay. Huzzah. <laughs> so with that. Mighty kindred, in my waters and all the waters around, fill them, fill them with Elhas, the elk, fill them with Isa, ice, and fill them with Aeos, the horse. May we get the protection in the work and stability in the work that we are doing. Behold the waters of life. Behold the waters of life. Mm. And now say thanks to all who have aided us. <laughs> Ancestors. Those of you all around us, known to us, unknown to us, of our bloodline and our friends and our land. For all that you do, ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, we thank you. Landspirits, you fur and feather, the elf skin, leaf and twig, seen and unseen. All of you that surround us and make our lives interesting and worthwhile every day. Yes, I'm talking about you, Epic. <laughs> uh, for all that you do, land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And shining ones, the gods and goddesses of elder days, you who look over each and every one of us our friends, our family, our land, and where we are. For all that you do for us day in and day out, shining ones, we thank you. Shining ones, we thank you. And gatekeepers all, you have aided us once more, you have opened the ways, and you brought back these wonderful moments for all the work that you've done for, for us tonight through all the years. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Gatekeepers, we thank you. Now, join your magic once more with mine. Let the well become but water, not just in my house, but in all of our houses. Let the fire 
become a flame in our houses. Let the tree become but a tree once more in each of our houses. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you will surround us and support us. We offer you first and we remember you last for all that you do for us, whether or not we know it. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Mother, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, to the right peasant.